Millipede, the sequel to the hit Centipede, was released in the arcade in 1982 and ported over to several consoles, including the Atari 2600 in 1984. The objective, gameplay, and layout are all similar, if not identical, to its predecessor. Only that instead of a centipede invading your garden that you must destroy, it's a millipede this time around, as if the graphics could really make that distinction. Once again, you're stationed at the bottom of the screen, shooting upwards at the invading bug bastard that descends, and you have a limited space you can maneuver around. Unlike in Centipede though, the space you're allowed to wander is highlighted by a discoloration. Personally, I'm not a big fan of this. Sure, it gives you a visual indication of where you're allowed to move, but I've never seen this as necessary in Centipede, and I find the whole thing to be a little distracting and visually jarring. Especially since you've got a whole litany of shit to look out for. Aside from the altered title character, the bouncy spiders also make a return. But there are a lot more enemies that bug the shit out of you in this installment, including bees, dragonflies, and earwigs. For some reason or another, you're allowed to adjust your score before you even play. When you die, you're allowed to start as high as 15,000 points less than your previous game, and you have the option to select 15,000 or 30,000 when you first power the game on. As Pee Wee Herman once said, what's the significance? I don't know. It's a bizarre feature if I've ever seen one. A new feature that's a little more impressive than the custom scoreboard is the DDT. And no, I'm not talking about Jake the Snake Roberts' finishing maneuver. These explosives prove to be very useful in dismantling your foe and add an element of strategy. Otherwise, the graphics, controls, feel of the game in general, it's all very much a mirror of Centipede. Millipede may have crawled under the radar a little bit thanks to being in the shadow of its classic predecessor, but it's still a classic in its own right, and this particular version has aged pretty damn well too. I am a millipede, I am amazing, I command you to gaze upon my face. 